And a Virginia lawmaker says her bill could help to answer the question of what's next. Many people wonder how a child could get his hands on a gun. Alex Littlehales reports on a new movement in Richmond that could shape gun ownership and gun safety. New laws can't undo the past, but State Senator Jennifer Boisco hopes at least one will change the future. But if we don't put our money where our mouth is and actually take some action, then the words are meaningless. Months before a first grader shot and badly injured a first grade teacher at Rich Neck Elementary School in Newport News, Senator Boisco began working on Senate Bill 1139. It was a complete coincidence that this tragedy happened. The bill requires gun owners to lock away their firearms if they live in a house with a minor, a requirement which, if broken, would lead to a class one misdemeanor. The bill adds ammunition would need to be locked away, separated from that unloaded gun in a place the minor can't get to. The argument that the Republicans have right now is they want to be able to keep their household safe. Well, this would qualify. Senator Boisco notes there are already laws on the books for cases like this. Right now, law enforcement officers have the power to charge gun owners with reckless endangerment if firearms are left out in the open. But Senator Boisco's bill takes those protections one step further. Very difficult to prove reckless endangerment and intent. You would have to be able to prove that a person knew that they were leaving their gun out and knowing that the child would be likely to pick it up. State Senator Monty Mason, whose Senate district includes Rich Neck Elementary School, is the chief co-patron on this bill as well. In Newport News, I'm Alex Little-Hales for 13 News Now. Three or more class one weapons misdemeanors could result in felony charges.